What is shaking, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it, guys. We just had another WhatNot show on Saturday. If you haven't come to one of our shows, I'm just telling you. <laughs> There's just so much fun, music, excitement, and getting killer bomber records to the vinyl community, just some amazing, amazing stuff. And I want you to stick through this video because I'm about to show you some incredible stuff that is going to go out again this Saturday. Last Saturday was all 80s. Um, we had stuff like Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction, the OG band cover someone snagged. But we had Depeche Mode, we had The Smiths, we had, you know, OG, Metallica, beautiful condition stuff, all going to good homes. This week, and we will do another 80s show, by the way, because I think that was a popular show. People really enjoy the 80s. We're going to try to even come even more correct next time, as we always do. And I think this week, I surprised myself on this. And that sounds silly. It sounds hyperbole. It sounds, you know, like a pitch or whatever. It's not. When I started seeing what I got, I was like, damn, I, how? how? <laughs> so I feel really comfortable that we're getting to a point now that we've kind of had four auctions. Um, and I buy things in advance. So oftentimes it takes me I, to, in order to correct, if we have a show and I feel like, oh, I want to try this, it takes a couple shows to get there because I'm already, I've already purchased for the next couple of shows. And this show is going to be unbelievable. This is going to be all 60s and 70s. You, I might sneak an 80s record in here or there, but this is going to be for the most part, all 60s and 70s. There are some bangers. I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to let that record speak for themselves. Let me just show you some of the stuff that is going to be up this Saturday at Whatnot. And if you haven't joined us yet I'm on Whatnot, please use that, use that link in the description. You're going to get a $15 credit right there. And I see a bunch of people have actually clicked that link. They just haven't used up their credit yet. Um, so if you haven't had a reason to join, I hope this show will give you a reason because there is some amazing stuff in this. Even if you don't take home a banger, even if you just take home a mystery bag, maybe you get a freebie. Uh, you know, maybe you come in on what are the auctions that are going up here and get yourself something guaranteed. You know exactly what you're going to get. There's just so many ways to have fun and so many ways to take away something really, really killer. All right, let me get to the records. So first off, I want to show you some of the records. We are, The last couple of weeks, I think people have been really happy because we sort of mix it up, right? We, we do a thing where we do the mystery bags and some people really love the mystery bag. That's where some of the big records come in that you can grab for really, really cheap because you get in for 20 bucks and you hit a chaser. It's like, that's a great feeling, you know, for me and for you. I love it. But some people aren't comfortable with that. They would just prefer to come in, know something's going to be auctioned off. Let me just go for that one. Well, we do both. And so let me just show you some of the banger records that are going to be auctioned off. How about Velvet Underground and Nico? This is a 1973 Japanese pressing with the peelable banana. Just super clean, man. I have this pressing. I love it. It's a keeper for me. It sounds fantastic. My banana isn't exactly cl super clean right here on the end of it. It's a little rubbed off. On this one, it is perfect. This is unbelievable. Again, 73 Japanese press. We got your inner sleeve. There's your Verve label. Just very beautiful. And we're calling this a VG plus VG plus. But you can see just how beautiful that is. I feel like these are all graded conservatively. The feedback we've gotten is that they're graded conservatively. Not 100% of the time, but often these records are graded very conservatively. They come from me on Tokyo. That's where I source all these records. And one of the reasons I love them and wanted to work with them is because they offer such great records that I can bring to you. And they're very fair in their grading. So there you go. Fantastic album. That will be the big one. That is going to go up at auction 100. We will be go going up with this record right, th right at the end of the show. Some others, and eh, you know, some other okay records. How about a little Jimi Hendrix experience? Are you experienced? This is a 1968 Japanese pressing on Polydor. They're calling it VG plus VG on the sleeve. I mean, I'm looking at the sleeve right now. <laughs> you know, is it VG? I don't know, maybe. You check it out. Um, it's got the the fold over lip here. I mean, wow. 
All the records I'm showing you, I just feel like they're keepers, man. These are upgrades to your collection. These are keepers. If you don't have one of these yet, just beautiful, boom, Jimi Hendrix experience. All right, we're not done with the Jimi Hendrix. How about Electric Ladyland, 1980 Japanese pressing. Double LP, as you know, in the gatefold with the Obi strip. Beautiful, beautiful record, front and back. I hope I don't get banned for this. We'll keep it flipping, but there you go, man. Just a beautiful record. One of, I mean, all of Jimmy's stuff is fantastic, but this is a killer one. If you don't have this this edition yet, it's very, very nice. And this one is uh, VG plus VG plus, which you know you're gonna get at least VG plus VG plus with this. So beautiful, beautiful record. All right, the next one up for auction again is a beautiful VG plus VG plus, and this is this is Steely Dan's Asia, the Japanese pressing. And this is a, a, a 1980 Japanese press on this one. Beautiful. And you got this beautiful Obi. Just check out that Obi. Sometimes they just get the Obis right on these, man. <laughs> they just, they match up to the vinyl, to the cover so beautifully. This one is one of those. Of course, we got your inner sleeve for you. And this is clean, dude. Very, very clean. So if you want, you're looking for Asia, uh, Steely Dan, this one will be up for auction this Saturday. By the way, Saturday the 13th at 12 p.m. So we're going live at noon, Pacific Standard Time. And uh, wow, just a beautiful, beautiful, a keeper, a keeper. Or a fantastic upgrade, man. Lovely record. By the way, this is a chaser record. This one will not be auctioned. This will just be randomly inserted. This is a big chaser right here. This is one of the ones to go for. You can snag this for real cheap. And uh, yeah, just a banger of a chaser record right there. All right, next up, we got a beautiful Japanese pressing VG plus VG plus dark side of the moon, Pink Floyd. Check that baby out and look at that Obi strip, man. Just perfect. Just perfect. Love that right there. This is the 1973 Japanese pressing. It is beautiful. It is lovely, VG plus VG plus. What else can I say? If you're looking for a dark side of the moon, you want this Japanese pressing, this might be the time to take this baby down. So just a killer record. There it is in all of its glory. That will be there this Saturday, April 13th. All right, another fantastic uh, record that's gonna be auctioned off. How about Black Sabbath volume four? We had one a couple weeks ago and they were a hit, man. We had the all Japanese uh, lineup last week or a couple weeks ago, but this bad boy is a 1972 Japanese pressing on the Vertigo label. On the Vertigo label, there is your Vertigo logo. And this is not, last week we had, uh, so last time we had uh, one on Vertigo, but it was the, uh, the UFO label, I guess it's called. This one, there it is right there. That's what you want to see. Beautiful Vertigo label, Black Sabbath 4, 1972, Japanese pressing, VG plus, VG plus, with the insert, with the photos attached to the gatefold. Just a beautiful example of this record. Um, there's your, your insert. Just lovely. So, yeah, if you're trying to go for this, if you missed out on it last time, this might be the week to go for it, man. You're gonna get a beautiful vertigo. Someone is gonna take that baby home Saturday the 13th. All right, so another Chaser record. Uh, we've had a nice Led Zeppelin Japanese pressings with the Obi strip in the past. This time we got Led Zeppelin 2, a VG plus VG plus 1976 Japanese pressing with the Obi. Just a, a really lovely, example of this one this is a chaser this will be randomly inserted in the mystery bags this saturday so i'm telling you again if you guys haven't checked out our shows before there's a lot of good reasons to come in this week uh, there's just some amazing amazing stuff all right so there's some of the chasers all of the auction records uh, right there. Let me show you some of the other stuff that's going to be in the show. There's some other really cool stuff. I'm just going to start showing you some of this stuff. We, guys, we got a Black Sabbath. Mob Rules is going in there. I got to pick up the pace. How about a beautiful Santana Abraxas with the Obi strip? 
Beautiful, beautiful Japanese press on that. How about another beautiful Led Zeppelin? How about Houses of the Holy right there? Just random insert. How about another Santana? Little quadraphonic action with the Obi strip. Just beautiful. Man, just beautiful. Love this record. We got some more Stones. We got two of my favorite Stones albums. Two albums that got me into the Stones that my dad said when I was you know, buying records as a teenager was just like, if you're gonna call yourself a Stones fan, you need these two albums. And so I went out and got them and, and now I'm gonna pass them on to you if you don't have them already. How about Out of Our Heads with the inner insert, a little booklet. Beautiful, beautiful Out of Our Heads right there. Clean. And then a little aftermath. There you go, boom. Both on the London label, early pressings. There you go. <laughs> These are all mystery bags. These are all random inserts. How about a little Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band right there? We're calling this VG VG Plus. This is a 1971 US pressing. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful right there. But we're not done. How about a little Magical Mystery Tour? There's gonna be some amazing Beatles here. A little Magical Mystery Tour right there. Random insert. Come snag it. Someone's taking these home, it might as well be you. All right, and then we got another Beatles. Of course, I'm talking about the awesome Revolver. This is uh, the US pressing on the Apple label uh, from 1971. So just a beautiful, beautiful record. A night, another Hot Rocks. We've had Hot Rocks in the past, Rolling Stones. This one is very clean. Just a really nice example of that. Got a little Blue Oyster Colt for you. A little Sly in the Family Stone, greatest hits. I love, I wish they would have made this the front of the jacket. I love that photo with Sly right there. Boom. How about a little Brain Salad Surgery for your pleasure? Right there, really nice example of that. That's just gonna be randomly inserted. These are all just mystery bag items, guys. A little Super Session, Mike Bloomfield and Steve Stills. This is the second pressing, but this one is clean. Look at that, no ring wear. Most, almost 99% of the stuff is not gonna have ring wear. 99% of it is gonna have inner sleeves and they're just gonna be really, really nice. We're saying VG and better on these, but again, that's pretty conservative. How about some Jethro Tull? This was right there. Beautiful, really nice pressing. How about a little Stevie Wonder Songs in the Key of Life? If you don't have this one yet, this is a very nice copy of it. A beautiful record. Double LP, Goat's Head Soup, Rolling Stones right there. Goat's Head Soup, great, great Stones album right there, baby. Little Steve Miller Band Greatest Hits. That is clean with the inner sleeve right there. How about a little Hotel California? Classic album, of course. There's another one just randomly inserted with the paper bag. Some Led Zeppelin for you right there in through the outdoor. Another Sly album. This one's great, man. Fresh. Love that cover. They did it right on this cover, man. Sly and the Family Stone right there, baby. Trying to really mix it up this week. How about another Aerosmith? We've had this in the past, just a killer Aerosmith album. Toys in the Attic, one of their best albums. Get your yaws out. A little Stones action, original inner. How about some more Steely Dan? How about Pretzel Logic? Nice early US pressing. Again, these are calling these VG VG. So you might find some surface noise on some of this stuff, but a lot of it, as I said, is graded conservatively and it's it's VG and up. So how about a little Beach Boys Endless Summer, their classic hits, double LP, killer tunes on that one. The Door, Soft Parade. Someone's gonna snag that just out of a mystery bag. Fantastic record. We got Billy Joel Glass Houses, this time with the Obi Strip and the inner Japanese, or the, uh, yeah, the inner Japanese sleeve. Insert, bam, nice and clean, beautiful record. We got the Stones, Some Girls. 
the inner sleeve is right here so don't worry i know there's no faces there but <laughs> but they're there this one is in the shrink with the hype we love to see it really nice example of this record some girls rolling stone how about some more stevie wonder we got inner visions right here on the motown label beautiful record some more aerosmith this is rocks again one of their best albums we got two of their best albums in this show how about a little frank zappa man frank zappa doesn't get enough love overnight sensation just going to be randomly inserted in these bags this week with that crazy artwork beautiful record some more jethro toll a passion play love this album really nice and clean on that so we got Steve Miller Band, Book of Dreams. I love this album, but we also got you the OB strip on this. That is another one where the OB strip came correct with this record, man. It just matches up so beautifully. We got your inner sleeve. Someone is going to snag that on Saturday. Some nice live cream for your pleasure right there. Eric Clapton, Ginger Baker, Jack Bruce. Fantastic power trio. One of the best and one of the earliest. Just a beautiful record. Some more Zeppelin for you. Few nice Zeppelins in this show. Just randomly inserted. Just a ton of heat, guys. A ton of heat. Really trying to get as many heaters in these shows as possible, especially as we move forward. And I get some experience, you know, when we do these shows, it's like... We just start adding so much heat. All right, boom. Band of Gypsies. Hendrix. This, I've said this is my favorite Hendrix record in the past. And I mean, I stick to that. It is such a great live record. And he just shreds on that record. Eric Clapton, Backless. Beautiful. Almond Brothers, Eat a Peach. Killer record. The Beatles, 1967 to 1970. I need to go fast. I'm taking too long on this. Four-Way Street, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. That's going to be there. A little Fleetwood Mac Tusk with the inner. A little Quicksilver Messenger Service, second album. Happy Trails. I love this record, man. It's so good. Live, just beautiful. More Steely Dan, Katie Lied. That's going to be there. Inner Sleeve. All random inserts, Quicksilver Messenger, Messenger Service, their debut album right there. Deep Purple, Machine Head, all bangers. <laughs> As one of my favorite uh, gamer live streamers says, dripping in heat. And if, if you know who that is, then you know who that is. But I, I'm going to start stealing that, man, because it just comes to mind. We are dripping in heat this Saturday, baby. Okay, not done. Jeff Beck, Truth, and Beck Ola. Rod Stewart, Ronnie Wood, beautiful, beautiful. Little Moby Grape, wow. That will be there. We're just dripping in heat, what else? All right, we'll have a nice Woodstock, double LP. Is this, I think it's just two LPs. How about a little Deja Vu action? That will be there. All randomly inserted, The Doors 13. Ram, little Paul McCartney action. Love this record. The Birds, Mr. Tambourine Man. That will be there. Somebody will snag it. We got a rubber sole. This one's got a little paper loss right here. But still nice. Nice rubber sole right there. U.S. pressing. We got some King Chris Crimson. We got, uh, we got Starless and Bible Black. A little King Crimson for you. Great Genesis album, Selling England by the Pound, right there. In the Shrink, with the inner sleeves. Beautiful. We got the Birds, Untitled. A couple different birds for you there. Again, I'm just going over all the random uh, inserts in the, in the mystery bag. This is just stuff that's gonna be filling these bags up. Got a nice Zombies 2LP collection right there. Beautiful, love the Zombies. Days of Future Past, Little Moody Blues, Japanese pressing with the insert. Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle, Little Japanese pressing with the Obi. 
beautiful Obi with the insert. Little Beach Boys Surfing USA is here. Beautiful record. Some more Aerosmith. We got Bootleg Live right there. We got, we got more doors. We got Absolutely Live. Double LP for your pleasure. That will be there. More Jeff Beck. How about Wired? Just some... We're just dripping in heat. Okay, now I'm overusing it. I'm sorry. Now I'm overusing it. Hey, man, John Lennon, imagine right there. Dripping in heat. I'm going through most of these records. I want you to see. I'm trying to go fast here. If you've been in our past shows, you see why I'm saying we're dripping in heat because it's just it's just unbelievable stuff. How about more uh, Sly and Family Stone? There's a riot going on right there. Beautiful record. Hell yeah. Going up Saturday. April 13th on whatnot. I'm showing the overlays. The link is right in the description. Click on that link. Save 15 bucks on your first order. It's, it's a no brainer. Um, if you haven't shown before, this is the time. Look at this, another Stevie Wonder. What do we have? We already had two of his best records. How about a third talking book? That will be there. Just random insert. Someone's gonna snag that. How about some more Paul McCartney? This one's tug of war right there. A Little bit of ring wear on this one. Still a beautiful record. There's your inner sleeve. It's, I have to call it out when I see it because most of these records don't have ring wear. 99% of them don't. Oh, another one, Band on the Run. There you go. Just some fantastic Paul McCartney in here. <clears throat> More killer Beach Boys. Here's Surf and Safari. Fantastic album. How about some Almond Brothers band? This is Beginnings. Double LP. Some killer Almonds Brothers this time. And some more killer Almond Brothers. Here's Brothers and Sisters. Man, this is what I'm talking about. When I when I when I cracked these boxes open, and I was like, "How did I manage to?" Uh, this is this is gonna be a killer show, dude. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. We got Super Tramp for you. Breakfast in America with the hype sticker in the shrink. Just fantastic. One of my favorite guitar solos is on this. Album just killer. Goodbye, stranger. Breakfast in America. Oh, darling. The logical song, just packed with hits. We had a little Billy Joel last week. Uh, we got a little Billy Joel this week. We got the Stranger. Fantastic album. Classic album. More Eric Clapton. How about just one night? Eric Clapton shreds. That is the understatement of the year. I don't have to tell you that. Great record. More Led Zeppelin. Here's Coda. Beautiful record. Okay, last but not least, we got Blow by Blow, Jeff Beck, and I'm just admiring the OB strip that you're gonna get with this one. Japanese pressing. Look at that, the inner insert. Beautiful, beautiful record. We're dripping in heat this Saturday, guys, I'm just saying. So yeah, if you guys like 60s and 70s, I hope you'll check this show out. I don't want you to miss out on this. There's some just fantastic stuff in this show. As I, you know, I showed before, we got some killer chasers. We got some killer auctions. I'll just go over these one more time. We got Black Sabbath 4. This is the Vertigo, the label that you like to see. We got some Steely Dan Asia Japanese press with the Obi. It's going to be fun. It's going to be this Saturday, April 13th. 12 p.m. noon Pacific Standard Time. That is 2 p.m. Central. That is 3 p.m. Eastern. We got some unbelievable. I guess we got all of the, well, no, we don't got Axis, but we got everything else uh, that uh, Jimmy put out during his lifetime. Little Electric Ladyland there, beautiful with the high, with the OB strip. And we got a beautiful Are You Experienced right there. Polydor label, beautiful, beautiful. And the big, the big one, the big one uh, that we're gonna uh, cap off the show with, um, as we get to auction 100 at the very end, this will go up for grabs. Again, a beautiful, beautiful Velvet Underground, Velvet Underground, and Nico VG Plus VG Plus. Again, this is the 1973 Japanese pressing. This is the one that's in my collection, and I snagged one off of eBay, but it's not as nice as this one. This one is very clean with the peelable banana. Someone will be snagging this. 
I am super excited for this show, man. I'm excited for every show. I have so much fun. Come have fun. Listen to music. Tell jokes. Let's chat it up. Uh, take a giveaway home. Uh, get a guaranteed auction. Go for the Velvet Underground or one of the Jimi Hendrix records. Or come have fun with the uh, the mystery bags and take home some of the heat that I showed earlier. There's something for everyone. We really try to have fun on these shows. Well, while they're here, let me just show really quick some of the uh, giveaways we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to run giveaways. We're going to have a bunch of 7-inch. We're going to have a nice Led Zeppelin Black Dog will be there. A really nice Rolling Stones Time is on my side right there. All Japanese pressings, all with the jackets. So you get the artwork on all these. These Kiss ones are so freaking cool, dude. And here's Hard Luck Woman right there. Beautiful Japanese 7-inch. This is another one. I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. There we go. Kiss, 7-inch. And I don't know what this is doing in here. Uh, there's some there's some 80s. This may or may not go up. I might save this for the next 80s show, but I just want to show it to you. But a little mother-father Japanese press there by Journey. Really, really cool. And there you have it. I hope to see you at the show. Um, the next show is the very popular jazz show. We're gonna have our second jazz show. And guys, if you were at the first jazz show, this one is gonna put that one to shame a little bit. <laughs> it's just, this one is unbelievable. I might show you a little B-roll here of some of the records that are gonna be in that show. But check us out on Whatnot. Go download the Whatnot app if you haven't already. Find Spins Vinyl. Please follow us. Please bookmark our future shows. As I said, we got all 60s and 70s going up this Saturday, the 13th of April, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, 2 Central, 3 Eastern. And the next Saturday, which I believe is the 20th, April 20th, that is going to be all jazz. I'm going to show you some of those records. Uh, that video I will I will put out next week so you can see all the bangers that are going to be in that. That If this, if this show is dripping in heat, that one is just... <clears throat> what's better than dripping in heat? I don't know. But that one is certainly dripping in heat. So... Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you at the show and I will see you next time.